It is Ryan Freeberg, also known as Rion, with Sex Energy Secrets. Doing some energy reading of celebrities. So this is a recent one here, at the time of this recording, of January Jones on the new Tonight Show. And sometimes I'll browse uh, MSN Wonderwall and, you know, other sites. And I've been doing this for years, actually, before I was doing this, of just really being fascinated by celebrities. Not just as someone who reads People magazine. We all love celebrities. It comes down to they're our source of inspiration and aspiration for what we can be. They're closer to life itself. They're sexy because they're closer to life. So it's not just because of that dynamic, but because of really what I'm meant to do here in this lifetime is really to work with celebrities and performers to take them to even higher levels. So we want to look at with these energy readings, what's the first thing that stands out to me so you can get some insight from it to key into what's going on and then how this celebrity could improve and you can reference that as how you can improve so throughout these different readings you can start to understand and, and start to sense what's really going on with their energy and their power and influence and then how you can use that to improve yourself so that's one of the things about celebrities is they're in the public eye for better and worse this is all done with love and respect for celebrities I love them. They are our gods and goddesses, really. Our shining examples, they are stars. So let's learn from them and look at how we can improve and how they can improve to have even more power, influence, and functional fame on their own too, more success. Okay, so January Jones. Um, I don't really know too much about her. Again, I don't watch television. Uh, I think she might have been in a movie or two I saw. So I'm just reading what's in front of here. And the first thing that stands out to me is her powerful third chakra. This woman, she is in control of her life and she knows what she wants. So if, if you were in her presence and you were standing, say, two feet in front of her, your own gut would start to feel her power. So it actually has a strong masculine quality. So it's really kind of direct, it's present, it's there, it's in control. It's kind of projecting itself forward. It just is, it's this power center she has, her third chakra. So that's below the rib cage, above the belly button. And it's really, she has this really strong center. So that, that stood out to me. Um, another thing about her is there's a couple of these photos here and she has a really nice balanced energy, um, which is both masculine and feminine. Now, she's really a great role model for a lot of Western women. She has really nice clean energy there's not too much junk and clutter that's going on. Um, strong power center, so she has ambition and fortitude, direction, she knows what she wants. Now, one of the things about that is you could have conflict with that. If she has conflict with you, there could be some drama. So there may be some conflict with things that don't fit with her path and so forth. But she has this nice feminine quality where it's balanced. And you'll start to see this more as you really reference, really more the extremes of behavior starts to cue us into, okay, that woman is like ultra feminine in this chakra kind of a thing, or the upper chakras. And then you start to see like the other example of a woman who's actually really masculine in those chakras. And then you start to say, okay, well, her, she's in her upper chakras right here she does have a strong balance with her, but here she's a bit more in her feminine. So if we look at, there's a couple different pictures here. 
It's just this really gorgeous, balanced, powerful, personal energy. She has a really strong personal energy field. That's a nice balance and mix of strong masculine and pretty healthy feminine energy. So although her center is more masculine, she is a bit more in tune with her feminine in expression. And she's actually connecting when she's laughing here. It's very healthy. It's beyond the personal self in this case. So she has a decent spiritual connection um, that can always be improved with, with everyone really some people more than others. Um, but she's allowing like the, the feeling good to flow through her. Now it is in more of her upper body. So there, there is kind of a disconnection from allowing the feminine to really flow throughout her. So it's kind of like her sexuality is a bit disconnected from her upper feminine expression right now. So in that sense, she's not the most balanced, but she's, she's got like this power center, like in the middle. It's really interesting. And in her spiritual connection is really more of a personal one, although she is starting to receive like higher levels of letting go. So she can allow greater life force energy to flow through her. But again, it's not really connected throughout her entire body. It's really kind of blocked by the yang energy in the middle. So one of the things she could improve upon is to practice letting go and submitting in her personal center where she has the the freedom and space that she's created to allow herself to be a woman in her personal center. I think she's a little too directed with the masculine to allow feminine energy to flow entirely through her chakras. Um, so that's one thing she can improve. And once she has more of that experience, then she actually has more power because once you have that experience, it's real, then you can always bring it back. So it's going to make her energy even more alluring, sexy, and interesting. So that's one of the things that, um, we see that she could possibly improve upon, but, and, and I'm critical of the most advanced. This is how we improve. And I'm the most critical of myself too, by the way, actually not that I meant that I was the most advanced. <laughs> Um, actually, although in some areas I possibly am, but anyways, to find out more interesting stuff that is actually very relevant to real life and your future and sexiness, subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out our blog at sexenergysuccess.com. January Jones, awesome, empowered example of a Western woman right here.